I had the old triple out a few weeks ago and the rewind was hanging up on me a little. So I'm gonna take it off, inspect it, uh, see what's wrong with it. But first I'm gonna remove the pipes and then I'm gonna pull the rewind off. Voila. There we go. Well, it seems to have lost a bit of its luster. So I'm going to chop it off and we are going to put it on the bench. I always cut it off anyways, right about here. Tie a little knot on it down here so it can't go anywhere right now. I don't want it to take off. So I've got the rewind on the bench. It seems a little sticky. I'm going to take it apart and just check it anyways. So we're going to take the center bolt out. A little stiff. It's because I Loctite it in. Remember all the Loctite I told you about? I use lots of it. So I'm going to take this apart. Oh, it looks like the dog is okay. Spring looks okay. I'm going to go ahead and release the, uh, the rope here. I'm going to hang on to the center part. I'm going to grab a long uh, needle nose. I'm going to pull that cord through. So I have control of it as it spins. There's an oh, dang it! I didn't want to do that, but okay. Now that I did it, you're not supposed to do that. I was trying not to take it off in one big unwind. So as you can see on this little corner here, she didn't quite dig in. It slipped off somewhere and then uh, backed off the tension on the spring. That's why my rope was kind of hanging back a bit. So what I'm going to do is clean this up. I'm going to rebend this and put it back together. I think that's all it needs. Going to clean it with a little bit of old trusty brake cleaner that we use. Get some of that old grease and dirt and grime off it. That stuff works pretty good. The inside curl looks pretty good, or the hook, I guess you could say. Doesn't look that bad. I've kind of rebent it because it's got a hook right in there, in that little groove kind of thing. I think you guys can see that. So, what I'm going to do is Wind this baby bag up. Try not to let go of it, whatever you do, because it can come back to get you. So I believe it's got to go in this way. So now that I finally got that stupid spring back in there, you can see how I rebent the the keeper end of it or whatever that stops it from spinning around in here. You got to make sure you wind it right. This can you easily be put in backwards and you're not going to get a rewind. So you can see that the spring is going to have to go this way, right? So when you pull out, it wants to go back. So this is the right way. So now what we want to do is uh, so that little hook on the inside that you can see where are you right there that little hook there has to get hooked by this plastic thing right by my thumb the fray i was talking about is right there that's eventually going to cause some problems so i'm going to take that out of the equation
I'm gonna cut this piece off. I still got a fair bit of rope in there. I like to burn the end a bit. Kind of get her melted to a nice little point there. Tie a knot in there. Try and get it so it's fairly tight. Now what I like to do is Heat it a bit, get it soft. That way you're burning it together. Stick it back in here. And that will never come apart now because it's, you've kind of melted it together. So then we're gonna wrap this back up again. I'm gonna leave it out to here. Put it in that little groove. Try and put it back together without breaking anything. You can kind of tell when it clicks. You got her in there. Let's go back through the process. Little Loctite. So when you're putting this back together, guys, you want this round part that's on your keeper ring to push against the dog tooth when it's trying to open or when it's trying to engage. I think they call it a dog tooth. Not too tight because you want it to move. Oh, little dog leg, dog tooth comes out. So it's going to work. Feels a little loose to me. No, nope, it's pretty tight. It's good. So then we're going to wind it. Oh, my rope came out again. Doesn't want to stay in there. I use oversized rope because it's. Uh, Last longer. A little bit of a pain in the ass to work with. So I'm going to wrap it. I probably pre-wind it two or three times just to get some good tension on the spring. You got to pre-wind it or else you're not going to get your, your rope to go back in. You don't want to wind it too much, you're going to break the spring. So, I want it a couple times. I'm going to use my trusty uh, needle nose to get the rope back through the eye. There. So, a little dog tooth comes out. I'm going to pull it. So, now to me, it feels a little slack like there's not enough juice there so what i'm going to do pull the rope back through wind it one more time go around once more get one more round on the old springeroni this is great with two people too by the way but it can be done with one there, got one more round on her. Got the 
Line it back through. Oh, back through the eye there. That feels a bit better. Pull the rope all the way out. Make sure it goes back in. Good to go. I'm going to tie a knot in the rope just so it doesn't get away on me. Yeah. Good as new. Then we'll go put it back on. So I got everything back together. And uh, one thing I can say is if your rewind is acting up a bit, you may want to take it off and inspect it because you never know what's in there. I had one come apart on me and totally disintegrate the stator on a sled. So that got a little costly. So if you, if you sense that your rewind's hanging up, take it apart, inspect it. I got everything back together here now. Pulled it, starts, rewind works awesome. And that'll be the end of the video. So if you found this helpful, make sure you subscribe, guys, and click on that little bell notification and you get all of our updated videos. Thanks for tuning in.